Good morning. I'm Bing Yuan from Huangzhou University of Science and Technology. I'm really grateful to get to share with you the work that we did on understanding the security risks in cross-cloud IoT access litigation, which is a joint work from Huangzhou University of Science and Technology, Indiana University Bloomington, CDN University, and the University of Chinese Academia of Sciences. This work was done while I was doing postdoc at Indiana University Bloomington. So, the popularity of IoT gives its rise to the demand for effectively managing the IoT devices, which has been supported by the IoT clouds operated by uh, both the device vendors and the cloud service providers. Also, today's IoT clouds tend to provide complicated functionalities such as uh, cross-vendor device control and the sharing of device access. Uh, in order to meet different user requirements. For example, a user might want to use one single console to manage all her devices from different windows. Supporting these functionalities is the homegrown delegation mechanisms de uh, developed by different IoT clouds. For example, Google Home uses a customized OAuth protocol for access delegation. Also, such mechanisms can support delegation across different clouds and users. This can lead to a convoluted delegation chain whose uh, com complicated authorization operations could easily go wrong. However, little has been done so far to systematically analyze and understand the, secu the security implications of such mechanisms. Therefore, to this end, we consider a threat model where, de where the delegate T user can be malicious, aiming to gain um, authorized access to IoT devices while the IoT clouds, the devices, and the uh, administrator are behind. We also assume the adversary is capable of uh, extracting information from system logs, of official documentations, and the uh, network traffic between the IoT clouds and his mobile phone. Note that throughout this talk, we call the party delegating access right to another party delegator and the recipient of the right delegatee. Also, a, a delegator could be a delegator user or a delegator cloud, and the delegatee could also be a delegatee user and a delegatee cloud. And we further summarize the, the security requirement for IoT, for IoT delegation. First, it is important that the delegation policy among all the parties involved in the delegation chain are safe and consistent. Further, the enforcement of a delegation policy is expected to be comprehensive and non-bypassable, blocking all avenues of um, authorized access. Also important is the, is the transitive delegation control. For example, once a, delegate, once a delegator revokes its delegate's access right, all downstream parties in the delegation chain should, should all follow suit. The risks here is that uh, today's IoT clouds often utilize their individual and heterogeneous uh, delegation protocols that may not be uh, compatible with those of other clouds and may not have been properly. For example, we found that the delegation into your cloud is vulnerable, which actually uh, motivated this uh, our this study. Specifically, Tuya allows the administrator, aka the device owner, to share the device access with other users. Also, Tuya allows the delegate user to further delegate access to Google Home by issuing um, OS token to Google Home. However, we found that after the device owner revokes the delegate user's access right in the Tuya cloud, the delegate user can still use the Google Home app to control the device which he is not entitled to access anymore. This is because the OAuth token issued to, issued to Google Home is still valid. And this clearly uh, violates the transitive delegation control. Now, if we take a closer look at this case, we can observe a few things which actually lead to our uh, further design of how to discover vulnerabilities in IoT delegation in a more automatic way. The first thing we can see here is that there are multiple operations in this setting, such as bind, share, and all operations. Secondly, there is always data flow occurring along with each operation. For instance, the Tuya cloud sends an OS token to the Google Home cloud during the operation of OS. 
Also, the clouds usually conduct access control checks and forward access request to its upstream actors. For example, the Tuya cloud checks the access request from Google Home and forward it to the device if a valid auth token is provided. And at NOST, we can see that the uh, access to the device could be a multiple step path, such as from Google Home to Tuya and then to the Tuya plug. Further, the same observations are found in all the IoT clouds that we studied. For example, uh, Leafy's cloud also supports all of the operation, and the field who provides an API request to send its delegate T cloud the uh, whitelist ID and auth token, which are used uh, for access control checks. So starting from the manually discovered two year case, we wanted to uh, discover the IoT delegation vulnerabilities more automatically. And with the uh, common delegation pattern identified in the different IoT settings, we believe the uh, formal verification technique can be used here. Specifically, we designed the route, which is, as far as we know, the first verification tool for IoT cross cloud delegation vulnerability discovery. At the high level, we define the security property as an authorized delegated user should not have a path to access IoT devices. By access path, we mean that uh, the delegated user holds, holds tokens that would pass other actors access control check and eventually allows him to uh, reach the device along the path. And to verify the security uh, property, we modeled the IoT delegation as a transition system in which each stage records the tokens that the actors receive from or issued to other actors during the uh, delegation operations. And each operation is defined by its uh, corresponding uh, delegator, delegate T, the uh, data flow and the access right. Therefore, Driven by the operations, the system can transit from one stage to the next. With such a model, we are able to detect flaws in an um, IoT delegation setting by using a model checker to verify whether uh, there is a pass from the um, authorized user to the device in each stage of the model. The most challenge here is to model different real-world IoT systems since they usually support different operations with different data flows. To this end, we built a base model that includes a minimum set of actors and delegation operations that trigger the stage transitions. And uh, we also built a set of templates for different types of uh, uh, delegation operations which can be directly used, customized, or uh, even extended by the use of the route. And to verify the real-world delegation systems, one can build a configuration file to list the actors, the operations, and their templates. Then our model takes as input this configuration file to automatically generate an executable model and use its spin which is an off-the-shelf model checker to verify the security property and output the flaws reports. With the help of Variety, we have discovered six vulnerabilities in the IoT clouds, including Google Home Smart Things and IFTTT. Here, we report two of them. The first flaw is caused by the inadequate cross-cloud coordination. Specifically, Google Home uses a customized OAuth protocol in which when being uh, delegated from the Smart Themes cloud, Google Home requires the device ID of the device in the Smart Themes cloud. And the Google Home discloses this device ID to the Google Home users. We found that such a delegation process introduces a new security risk because of the misaligned security requirements between these two clouds. In fact, Smart Themes uses the device ID as authentication token for trigger action management. However, due to the lack of knowledge about the security implementation of smart things device ID, Google Home fails to provide a strict protection on this information. These different security assumptions on the device ID between Google Home and smart things enables a malicious delegate user, for example, an Airbnb guest to spoof event with the device ID to trigger smart things to open the owner's door even after he checks out. 
and uh, variety helped us to discover the such um, um, authorized access paths. We also found the flaws caused by the inadequate policy enforcement. To mediate remote access requests, Philips Hue performed checks both in the cloud and uh, in the bridge with two tokens. Also, Philips Hue provides an API to uh, delegate access to third-party clouds. The problem we found here is that when reworking a user's access right, Philips only invalidates the token that is used for uh, the access check in the bridge, not that in the cloud. This incomplete revocation scheme enables a malicious user to abuse the API to gain new tokens and thus to remotely control the Philips Hue devices which he is not entitled to access any longer. And to uh, sum up, our findings suggested that the heterogeneous and ad hoc delegation process is the root cause for these flaws. In the absence of a standardized and fully verified delegation protocol, one should take extra caution when applying a customized authorization scheme to today's already complicated IoT delegation. Specifically, it is recommended to uh, establish a channel between the delegation clause to exchange the security assumptions and constraints and to decouple the delegated cloud and the delegator cloud in order to reduce the inadvertent policy violation. And one should to verify the delegation design whenever possible. We have open sourced our tool and published all the related materials. Please refer to our website for all the details. That's all. Thank you so much for your time.